Meet Egypt Sherrod, successful radio and television personality. She's a businesswoman, entrepreneur, wife, and soon to be new mom. With over 20 years of experience in the entertainment business, Egypt knows firsthand the importance of staying focused and dedicated to her career goals. She consistently maintains that message by working hard and taking part in various initiatives, including her very own Egypt Cares Family Foundation. A natural enthusiast, motivator, and accomplished media personality, Egypt shares exclusively with us why she's the boss. Egypt Sherrod, TV host, radio personality, actress, philanthropist, there's a lot going on. Before we can dive into what it's like to spend a day in your shoes, first we want to know what shoes we're getting into. Shoe game check. Tell me about these heels that you are working in today. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't be in heels since I'm seven and a half months pregnant. But, but what we do for glamour, right? These are Casa Day shoes. Love them. They're my favorites, mainly because green is one of my favorite colors. Really? And when I saw them, I died. Uh, they're a size nine, which is my regular shoe size, but okay. my feet have blown up to a size ten and a half. I'm only wearing them because I'm sitting here with you, mind you. <laughs> Flip flops are on the side. Looking good. Looking <laughs> good. You. Now I have to say, many congratulations are in order. You just celebrated your first one year anniversary, mm -hmm. and you're also a mommy to be. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Tell me, you. what has this last year been like for you? It has been an evolution. Um, you know, so often, and I know I, I'm, I'm guilty of it, we just get caught up in work and become workaholics and lose balance in life. And I feel very blessed that, you know, sometimes that God pulled me back basically and said, look, I'm going to put this man in your life that's going to give you a regular home life and so you'll have to find some balance. When did you first discover your love for the entertainment business? When I was in college, I got a job at the radio station as a receptionist and got bit by the radio bug. Wow. And the rest is history. Many years later, several stations later, you know, television was a natural progression uh -huh. for me. Um, I just feel that sometimes we have a plan for our life and God has a plan for our life. Mm -hmm. So we're better off letting go and letting God. So it doesn't just stop with television and radio. No. You're also acting now. You recently just starred in an independent film, Live Love Soul. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this acting bug that you've been bitten by. Well, remember I told you I went to school for theater mm -hmm. and that's what I originally thought I'd do with my life. So um, it was my first love. My life just came full circle and I think Radio and television allowed me opportunities, to, you know, to sort of come back around and, and do everything. I'm, I feel very fulfilled right now. So much is going on. What's a typical day like for you? I start my day usually. I wake up at about 7 o'clock, get myself together, uh, get into the radio station at about 9 a.m., and I do what we call show prep. Read all the newspapers, the internet, magazines, see what the pulse of the city is. What are people talking about? And my assistant, Kristen. Kristen! <laughs> uh, she pulls sound bites for me of whatever happened on TV the night before and she and my producer Rodrigo work together so that we have a good focus show. We know where we're going, you know, on that day. And then I focus, I connect with my listeners, find out what they have to say, speak my mind and my heart. When I get off the air, um, my makeup artist, Tamara Delbridge, who is the reason why I look alive today right now, <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you know, comes and does my makeup and then we head out to shoot the TV show I've been working on uh, with HGTV since May. And that's, that's kind of been like every day during Friday, Saturday and Sunday we shoot throughout the weekend. And then in the evenings when I'm done, I'll go out to a social event, you know, a party or I host a movie premiere. What would you say has been some of the contributing factors to your success and the longevity of your career? I think my work ethic. I compete with myself every day. I'm very driven, uh, I work extremely hard, and I wouldn't say I demand, but I, I think I command the same from the people that I work with because they see how hard I work. They want to work just as hard uh, and, and do a great job. In the last five years, we've seen this industry change so mm -hmm. much uh, with social media, just the internet taking over in so many different ways. What are some of the investments and adjustments that you've had to make in order to keep Egypt Sherrod at the forefront of the industry? So I've had to really create uh, an identity for myself on the internet. 
own internet real estate is what I call it. So EgyptSaysSo.com is my blog site where people can connect the dots between what I do on the radio. EgyptSharad.com is my landing page which tells you all about me. Now people don't look for your headshots in the mail. They don't wait for your demo reel in the mail. Who yeah. does that? That's old school. Yeah. What's your website is the question and they need to be able to go there and find out all about you. Tell me about the Egypt Sharad Foundation. Well, it's Egypt Cares Family Foundation, EgyptCares.org. And at my foundation, we believe that family is the foundation. We've been able to develop some programs that I'm very proud of. And, you know, we only birthed the foundation in the middle of 2010. And already we're on our second annual Egypt's Give Back Tour, which is an annual toy and coat drive that I do. It's a six day event across all the boroughs of New York City and I broadcast my show live. In addition, um, every Mother's Day we do the mommy makeovers and uh, thousands of women submit or nominate themselves or a woman that they know who needs a makeover and is very deserving of it for whatever reason. And so we were only able this year to choose six women, but next year we're doubling it and we're going to continue to double it as we, as we grow and it was wonderful. What advice would you offer to those who want to follow in your footsteps? Real talk? Real talk. I'm going to look at a camera when I say this one. Ladies, you know that sometimes there's a double standard. In any business, we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard than basically. Respect ourselves or else no one else is going to respect you. First and foremost in business, keep your work and your personal separate. Don't date within your industry. I'm telling you, especially in this entertainment industry, don't do it to yourself. <laughs> That's number one. If you want to have longevity and be taken seriously. Uh, number two is find your voice. What is it that is special and unique about you? Be true to yourself. I mean, in a day of reality TV where people want to see the raw, they will love nothing else but you in your rawest form. You know, I remember when I first started, I was so green and I was announcing Jazz FM, Temple University Public Radio. <laughs> oh God, it was horrible. But as I just started to be me, listen, this is me. Mm -hmm. you, what you see is what you get on the radio, is what you get on TV. Now, I'm finding success. So find your voice and find success. Normally, you're the one asking the questions. How has it been for you being on the other side of weird. the interview today? This has been weird. <laughs> Am I doing okay? You're doing great. I'm not used to being interviewed. You did okay. a fantastic job. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And you're very talented yourself. Thank you very you much. You did a good job. Aww. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of She's the Boss. You can watch other episodes on MadamNoir.com. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Madame Noir.